Hello, Computer Studies 10. Now we're going to be taking a look at how do we change the background of our website. We already have changed the color, so you already know about that. We'll remind ourselves about that. And then we'll look and see how do we put an image in there. What happens to that image? How do we leverage that? And how do we just break those uh, default uh, settings? So we'll start by taking just a reminder look at our code. Remember when we're adjusting the background, we're going to be styling in the CSS our body. So body is a pretty useful tag. We're using it here to change the font on everything uh, in the website, sort of like the default. Uh, but also we are changing the background. Oh, now I screwed up. <laughs> uh, I was just planning on taking this and putting it on top just to kind of separate it so that we can see what's happening here. Great, so I'll leave those font family things going on. Uh, but background color is the way we change the background color and we already know that, so not a big deal. Follows the same rules. But what if you wanted to put in some kind of an image? So let's just stick in our Benny image. I believe right now we do have one image in the in our website folder. So I'd like to just stick Benny back there and uh, see what he looks like as a background image. Uh, so the syntax for that is, um, you know, kind of nicely, uh, background image with a hyphen. Background image. There it is. Uh, and I just press tab to autocomplete, by the way. Uh, so as I'm typing, if you click background, you can arrow down to image and then tab. You don't have to worry about spelling or mistyping something in, you know, typos. So the image, I believe, was uh, benny.png, but let me just double check in my image tag. Uh, yeah, it's benny.png. So basically, I want to say the same thing. Now, in CSS, it's a little different than in HTML. So I have to say URL. And then, uh, oh, that didn't work, uh, benny.png. <laughs> and I don't think we have to put in a quotations unless there's a space in the name. Um, so I'll put them in anyways, just to confirm that works. But I think you can leave them out if there's no space. Um, so I'm going to save that, and we'll see what that looks like. Let's go and look. Here we go. Refresh. Oh, my gosh. Benny is definitely in the background. The image is as big as it can be, and look, there's many bennies. Uh, it's because by default, if you put in an image into a website's background, it will be tiled, which is to say it'll be repeated over and over again, you know, across, and then repeated down in the next row, and so on. And that might be the look you're going for. Great. This is not super good. It turns out, though, there are images that are designed to be tiled across a website background. Uh, you can find all sorts of uh, these. Uh, I just Googled um, tileable web backgrounds. And here's a great website. It just has a whole bunch of choices you can make. You can download these patterns, and they'll be tileable. In other words, when they repeat, they'll like seamlessly match together, and it'll look fantastic. Well, you know, depending on the one. Uh, maybe I'll choose uh, more leaves on green. So I can click Download Pattern. And it downloaded it, you know, not quite to the right place I wanted to go, so I'll have to go find it. It's my downloads folder, so I'll have to copy it and go to OneDrive, and then go down to first website and paste it in here. So that's called more leaves on green .png. Okay, awesome. That's a lot of words to remember, but I guess that's not the worst. So I'll copy just so I don't screw up when I'm typing. <laughs> I'll come over here and let's paste that in here instead. Okay, more leaves on green.png. I've saved it to the right folder. I've typed in the name correctly. Let's find out if it worked. Uh, where am I? Yeah, here I am. Okay, so I refresh, and hey, look at that. Uh, the image is in the background. It's not just one giant image, it is sort of tiled across, and it's use, making use of that uh, feature. So this is a good place to go for images, and oh, we'll find some more too. There's actually a lot of resources on the internet for, um, you know, patterns. This is called Subtle Patterns, um, but there's there's many other websites. And, and you can just scroll for days. You know, there's line patterns, linear patterns, light patterns, dark patterns. You know, there's all sorts of different ones uh, for you to look at and enjoy. So, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that. Another question that I find a lot of students ask, though, is what if I want to put a nice, big, beautiful picture in the background? It's just like one solid picture uh, without patterns or anything in it, just like a cool picture. So I was going to show you how to do that. This is surprisingly hard. Uh, you know, I want to just like a picture of maybe this, some space. You know, maybe like one of those Hubble's telescope images. So I, I Googled up some 
Hubble telescope pictures. And these ones are pretty big, but okay, we'll, we'll go with it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'll just go click open image in new tab. And we'll see this picture is, ooh, it's very large, which is cool. I'm down with a big, big picture. So I'd like this to be the background of my web page. Isn't space amazing? Like, thank you, Hubble Telescope and James Webb Telescope for the awesome <laughs> images of the universe you have discovered. Uh, so I'm going to save this picture. This time I'll probably get to choose its location so I can go straight to OneDrive. And I can go to Computer Studies 10. And I can go to First Website. And then his name is it's just a hard one. I don't know. I don't know what a Westerlund is, but I know what space is. I'm going to go space.jpg. There you go. That's that's me. So I'll go change now this to space.jpg. Okay, save it, and we'll refresh in our web browser, and we'll see that it kind of worked. You know, there's the picture, but like it doesn't show. Like it just shows that corner. I kind of want to like show the whole picture. And also, you'll see that it does repeat itself, which I kind of don't want. I just want it to be that picture that's sort of locked in there in the background. So that's easy to do. Um, I mean, actually, it's not easy to do. It's kind of hard to do. You got to need a bunch of new properties. But, you know, there's always a way. So one thing I want to do is I want to fit the background um, so that it just kind of fits in, in the page. I don't want it to be like, I want to see uh, just a corner of it, you know. So I'm going to change the background size to be it's um, two numbers here, 100%, 100%. So this is the horizontal, and this is the vertical. So the first 100% is, is horizontal, second is vertical. Uh, and that's just going to stretch it out 100% of the page size. And then this is a fun thing. I want to do background uh, attachment. So background attachment allows me to sort of fix that picture so that when I scroll, it stays still. So I don't have to worry about it repeating and that kind of stuff. That's called a fixed. Uh, background attachment and I kind of don't want to cut off the edges or anything of the picture so if there's any sort of like you know excess uh, I don't think that'll matter too much with the background size but maybe for other pictures I'll do background uh, position uh, I'm gonna do center uh, center which means you know horizontally and vertically it'll be kind of lined up to be in the center so I'm going to save that, and we'll refresh. And we'll see now that that whole picture gets fit into our background. As I scroll, the space stays still, right? But my website moves. Now that I put in this picture, it doesn't really match with my colors, but I don't know, whatever. It's OK for now. Um, but if that would be a consideration I would have if I was changing uh, the background. I would want it to match with my design, or I'd want to change my design to match with the background. Uh, okay, well there you go folks. There's some information on how do you change the background of your website. So try to put in a, uh, some kind of image in there, whether it's going to be a large picture you're going to stretch out or and fix, or if it's going to be one of these uh, patterns. I'll have the links for you know this website and especially uh, in the, uh, the description of the video. Okay, thanks everybody.